Hello everybody, we are back in the Villanova Wildcats Dynasty and it is finally here, the first game of season number 5 of Villanova. That's right, we have made it this far. We are here, and Villanova playing what figures to be a tune-up game here in game number 5 against the Boston College... Go Against the Boston College team that cut Victor Hartman. That's right. They cut one of our subscriber recruits. This is a team that Victor Hartman really wants us to beat the ever-loving crap out of. Now, Victor Hartman's having a pretty good career in Notre Dame. And here we go. This is going to be a hard game to kick the crap out of somebody if we're going to give up 23 yards in the first run. And now Roger Levine's going to run it again, and he's going to get it inside the 25-yard line. Now later on, a third and 11 for Boston College. It'll be a completed pass, but they will not get the first down. So Boston College will take a field goal, and they'll take a lead on the Wildcats. Malik Dupree running for a lot of yardage there, as he normally does. And a downfield thrown it is Carlton, who will take over some of the slot duties at receiver. There's Todd Gray, and he's made a lot of big plays in his career already. And we look for him to make a lot more. Vasu now throwing a J.D. Hernandez. That'll be a first down, first and goal. And J.D. Hernandez will complete the drive with the touchdown reception. Vasu has now broken his own record for the most career passing touchdowns. There's the flip out to Levine. Levine following his blockers, and Levine will get inside the 20, the 10, 5 touchdown, and Boston College striking quickly for a touchdown right after Villanova able to take the lead with their touchdown. And Boston College will get the lead back. It is 10 7. Downfield, there's J.D. Hernandez with the catch. Now on the read option, it is Fasu smartly sliding down for eight yards. And Malik Dupree, of course, going to pick up the first down and plenty, plenty more. That's just what he does. Downfield, there's Todd Gray again. That'll be a first down, and that'll end the first quarter. A quick first quarter with some scoring on the board. 10-7, Boston College. Here's Villanova after the break. And downfield into the end zone. That one could have actually been picked off a little underthrown by Vasu. Malik Dupree will run the ball and go nowhere. Villanova will take a field goal. It will be a tie ball game at 10. Anthony Brown with an 11-yard run there. Now they give it back to Levine, who has had such a great start. And he's breaking tackles. And he's going to get inside the 30-yard line with a 36-yard run. That dude has got to have well over 100 yards already. Here is a run, and that is Roger Levine on a 24-yard touchdown run. Is this guy ever going to be stopped? Roger Levine came out here on a mission today, ladies and gents. Malik Dupree, nice run there, 17 yards. Just doesn't compare to the 36-yarders and 24-yarders Roger Levine's ripping off. It's another very good run by Malik Dupree, and another good one. They are just running Malik Dupree all the way down the field. There's a throw to Carlton. He will pick up 10 yards and a first down. Looked a little questionable as to whether he made it or not, but they gave it to him. And there is Gates, and Brian Gates is going to pick up 9. Easy enough for Malik Dupree to convert. Now Vasu is going to be sacked, and that is a loss of 12. A third and goal, though. J.D. Hernandez for 21 yards, and he gets into the end zone. He's got two TDs early in this ballgame. Voss is 10 of 15 for two touchdowns here in the first half. Nearly sacked and instead throws off his back foot, intercepted by Jesse Robertson. And Robertson will have the ball in the red zone for Villanova. There's J.D. Hernandez. After a Vasu getting sacked, it is now a second and goal with 10 seconds to go. They're going to try a run. It's not going to work. They called a timeout. They did kick a field goal, and we're going to go into half with Villanova up 20-17. to Coming out of the break, there's Malik Dupree as Villanova gets their chance to Take a bigger lead coming out of the half. There is Vasu. He's going to run and slide for the first down. 
Downfield it is J.D. Hernandez, and he's picking up a bunch of yards. Now on a third and nine, they're going to run the ball, and they will pick up a field goal there. Not Maybe not aggressive enough for Mark Ferrante, and that's not something you usually say. Boston College sacked there now on a third and 24, and it's going to be complete downfield inside the 20-yard line. Breaks a tackle. Breaks Jesse Robertson's tackle and gets into the end zone. Thomas Gibson with an 89-yard touchdown catch. The new NCAA record for the longest pass, and he breaks Vasu Sharma's record by two yards. For Boston College to take a one-point lead here. Vasu now has got to lead a scoring drive. There is Rivero, and Kevin Rivero is going to pick up a bunch. Now second and inches. He's going to throw a cross field across his body. Not a great idea. It is intercepted by Carter. Vasu trying to do too much to make something happen. And now here is Levine and Roger Levine. Nice run. Here is Brown now. And Brown is going to throw to Martin. Now Roger Levine. And again, he is stiff arming some people. That will be a first down. Now downfield. That's Gibson. And Gibson for 19 yards, and that'll bring us to the end of the third quarter with the score Boston College 24, Villanova 23. All right, fourth quarter, here we go, and it is going to be a quick touchdown pass to Thomas Gibson. He's got two on the day. Boston College takes a 31-23 lead. Downfield, that'll be incomplete by Villanova. They will have to punt here with 6.16 to go. And now they're going to have to get a stop. Third and 14 for Boston College. Levine, if he would have broke that tackle, he would have gotten a first down. But good tackling there by Villanova. On a third and five, Malik Dupree is going to pick it up with a seven-yard run. There's a throw. That is incomplete on second and six. That's going to bring up a third and six for Villanova. Vasu not playing as well here in the second half, and that's going to be Malik Dupree. Nervous, sweating, but he picks up the first down. Malik Dupree again. This one on first and 10. He is bobbing and weaving, and that's a 25-yard run. Now Vasu looking for somewhere to go, and he finds Carlton in the end zone for a touchdown, 11-yard touchdown. Now this one is puzzling right here. Mark Ferrante does not go for two. And it is a 31 to 30 ball game. Just I don't know if he is absent-minded or just a bonehead move to not go for it. And now Boston College looks like they're going to score again. Here goes Levine. A third and 12 now. Here's Brown. And it's going to be a throw to Levine, and Levine will not get there. Boston College takes their field goal. It's a four-point game. That is why that two-point conversion would have been so big. But here goes Vasu. All he's got to do is lead a touchdown drive, and nobody will give a shit what his bonehead coach did. And there's J.D. Hernandez, and he will score a touchdown. J.D. Hernandez with three touchdowns on the day. Vasu 2-2 two two on the drive for 61 yards. Now they will go for two, and they will not get it as that was kind of a bonehead move to move to. It could have just been a three-point game. Now it's easy for Boston College, but that is Levine, and he is picking up the screen. Levine with the screen to the end zone, a 75-yard touchdown reception. And Boston College takes an even bigger lead. Now they will go for a two here. And Brown will just get in with a three-yard run. But it is a 42-36 game. Still a touchdown will win it for Villanova as long as they can make the extra point. Here's Voss who's got an open man, and it is dropped. That is a huge drop, and now a fourth and two. This is pretty much the game, ladies and gentlemen, and Vasu, very noodle-armed on that one, will throw an interception, and the Villanova Wildcats will lose this game on the road to Boston College. A very sad, I mean, there were some bonehead moves here by the coach, however... Mark Ferrante's decisions really didn't impact the game that much as far as the score goes. Villanova still would have had a score, a touchdown anyway. 
Just sad. Malik Dupree able to put up 170 yards, and it didn't mean anything. Look at J.D. Hernandez, 189 yards, three touchdowns. Carlton had 51 and a touchdown, and it just doesn't amount to anything. J.D. Hernandez also with six pancakes on the day. Just utterly ridiculous. Washington and Hansford with sacks. Robertson with the pick. Just didn't do anything for him. Brought to you by Legion Games around the country. No one gives a shit about. All right, looking at some of the recruiting here, we're not going to end up with, with Pardo. It's just not going to happen. So we're going to try and get some of the people that we can get here, distributing points evenly and fairly, and, you know, trying to make the most of it and get as many people as we can possibly get. we, we got to weed out some of the dudes that there is, like, Zero chance of getting. So we'll have to take some of these guys up on out of here. Uh, yep. All right. So we're good. Uh, next game, next episode, we will be taking on the Cincinnati Bearcats. This is a game you guys voted to see. Our last stand against Cincinnati. They have been one of our nemeses. In the American Conference, now that we are in the Big Ten Conference, we'd like to show them that we are the boss, especially after a pretty ugly road loss to open a season with so much promise. But we can get over a loss like that early in the season. If we run the table, nobody will remember that we lost to Boston College. But that is going to have to start now. Vasu is going to have to start playing better. Malik Dupree... Pretty much has already put the team on his back. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. What do you think is going to happen in this game? What are your expectations for the season? How disappointed are you with that first game from Villanova? And what do you think they can do better? Give me some analysis. Give me some thoughts. Give me some comments. Give me some likes, guys. Let's see some likes if you want to see this series continue on for, you know, 10 seasons. Just keep that like button coming and subscribe if you're new. Plenty more coming out, guys. Thank you for watching.